Hello everyone, here yeah, here. Yeah. It's another edition of that episode that is close to my heart. Msada Wako, yay! <laughs> We're supporting another great lady today and she's making impact in her own little way. And I'm sure that you will want to listen to this to the end. It's actually long and I like the fact that it's long. Do you know why? Because she has taken her time out to give you the details of what she does and that's because she knows what she's up at she knows what she's doing so if you want to invest in whatever she's doing you're going to be comfortable because you have an idea in simple terms in the easiest terms possible about what she's doing you want to be excited you want to be happy that you made one soul better than they would have been if your input was not a part. So who are we gonna put on the platform today? Let's say welcome to Ma'am Zita, fondly called Zita Light. Yeah, she brings a lot of light wherever she goes to. Welcome, ma'am. My name is Atanche Zita, CEO of New Breed Africa Foundation, a non-profit association based in Bamenda, Northwest region of Cameroon. I'm equally an artist, musician, to be precise, a gospel musician. I'm here to tell you a little bit about myself and the things that I do. Uh, beginning with New Great Africa Foundation, the New Great Africa Foundation, like I said, is a non-profit association based in Bamenda of the Northwest region of Cameroon. And we are out to reach out to empower and support orphans, less privileged and vulnerable people, including people living with disabilities. And we also identify, develop and promote home talent. Basically, that's what New Great Africa does. And our desire is to be able to raise a new breed of young people who are tenacious and without greed. They are properly educated, noble in character, well-skilled, industrious, purpose-driven, and responsible enough to actively contribute to community development and the betterment of our world. That's New Great Africa in the briefest form that I can put it. And we do all of those things through the execution of diverse projects. We do conceive and execute different projects related to the humanitarian side of the vision and as well related to the talent development and promotion side of the vision. So uh, we do educate in order to empower and at the same time we do uh, run projects uh, that involve training, some capacity building uh, 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 um, exercises to be able to build capacity in people, practical skills that can help people make money in order to survive in life, especially the fact that we are touching on orphans, less privileged people and the vulnerable is because we have realized that they are one of the most vulnerable classes of people in our society. And it is possible that once somebody is vulnerable to one thing if nothing is done it is it can be recurrent in the life of that person for example a young single mother or a young girl who falls prey to a young boy or a man and gets pregnant and then uh, ends up raising the baby alone if nothing is done to give her practical skills that can permit her raise finances and make life better for herself and her baby it's possible that she could go for the second third and why not fourth pregnancy uh, because she is uh, struggling to raise her baby that's exactly what new breed africa wants to put an end to uh, through this vision so i'll just uh, state some of the running projects that we have uh, and you, you you'll be able to follow us up online on our page new breed africa foundation and on our website new breed africa foundation.com our youtube new breed africa foundation to be able to see a little bit more about some of the things that we do 
beginning with our humanitarian projects that are already running i would want to start with uh, back to school a yearly back to school project that runs every end of august to be able to support orphans and less privileged people uh, go to school with ease uh, we, we practically don't have enough uh, uh, sponsorship at, at, at the point but we do make sure that we share our vision with people just like you who support us in any of the projects that tricks them or they are passionate about so uh, every august ending yearly we do have the back to school project where we try to gather school material and support uh, orphans and less privileged people who desire to go to school secondly we have an informal training setting where we carry out capacity building on sewing the ankara and beat designs as you can see behind me some of the things and even the dress i'm putting on is done by one of the beneficiaries of uh, this particular project uh, so these are the things that we do train particularly orphans and less privileged people to do both boys and girls even though we've mostly have uh, we've mostly had only girls who are interested in the sewing in the production of uh, of coconut oil vaseline liquid detergents and they are also interested in learning how to do ankara and beat designs that's the second project in that line which is the capacity building project for orphans and less privileged people uh, which mostly has uh, a lot of young single mothers being a part of that and then we also have our uh, yearly orphans party uh, for short it, it's a program it's a kind of food program a food support or uh, uh, basic needs support program that new breed africa runs yearly uh, between the 28th of December to the 1st of January to make sure that our orphans and less privileged people they equally have a reason to celebrate they have something to celebrate with we celebrate with them together we invite people to sing with them we dance together we we just make the period lively and whatever we have as food items or probably clothes we or, or, or savon whatever can meet their basic needs we share with them um, then we have the ongoing career building program for um, people living with disabilities and we have just uh, for the moment we have one uh, blind uh, gentleman in the name of prince sir edwin we say he is blind but not blinded he is very talented a very talented musician his project is on and we are working on an ep of five songs for him titled the i am me ep which will be out this year 2019 and we have others in line, but we can't actually put uh, more than one person on project for the moment because our resources are yet limited and we are still appealing with people, the public, to join us, see how we can give our people a befitting life. Uh, basically, for the humanitarian projects, that's what I can say. We have others that we will get to discover when you visit our page. And we also have the talent development and promotion site. We have the New Great Africa Celebrity Awards, which is one of the major running projects uh, under which we try to identify and publicly celebrate the efforts of our home talents in diverse fields, acting, music, comedy, fashion, you can name the rest, uh, who are who have a record of positive results. Our target in the world of arts is to make sure that we give our society a befitting future, a future uh, with, of decency, a future of dignity by promoting art that is positive. So mostly we, uh, we, 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 we award those musicians, actors, actresses, uh, painters, fashionistas, and so many other people who are uh, who are positive result oriented and that's basically what we do in new great africa celebrity award uh, which is abbreviated nbaka and then we also have the top dance 
prize awards. The Top Dance Prize Award is focused on dance talent, building dance talent and promoting dance talent. We've had about three editions so far. And then we also have other projects in that line, which is about uh, empowerment of artists, not just with creating platforms for them to perform or awarding them, but giving them an understanding of what art is, the power of art, and how they can make good use of the talents they have, not just to make money for themselves, not just to be popular, but as well to impact society positively and secure a better future for our children. I think I'll end there for New Breed Africa Foundation. When you get to our page, New Breed Africa Foundation on Facebook, you get to uh, um, our website, newbreedafricafoundation.com or www.newbreedafricafoundation.com. Our YouTube, New Breed Africa Foundation, you will be able to see more about us. For the music, me, I'm Zita Light. Zita Light is spelled Z I T A L I G H T. I, that's for my Facebook page and for my YouTube. You can always get there uh, to find out what I do. I've, I have a, a couple of songs released already on online, and I have an album titled The Saka Album. That was my very first release, 2017. And I had the EP, the light EP that was released 2018. Just check me out on uh, my social media handles and find out what I do. I equally write, so I have published a book of poems, a collection of poems of about 34, and uh, it's titled Light for the New Breed. Everything about me is either light or the raising of the new breed. So uh, it's all so many things in one, trying to build a generation of people who are conscious that it's not just about them, it's about using the little you have to be able to act to the lives of people in your community and to secure a better future, a future of dignity for our own children. Like for the new breed, if you need it or if you need any of these things, you could check me out. Uh, online as Zeta Light or as a tank chair Zeta or you could contact me via the number 679-592502 679-592502 I also do MC events if you need an MC for your event don't hesitate because I'm a trained journalist uh, trained at uh, the National Polytechnic Bermuda so there are so many other things that I do. I was also playing football. You were interested to know that I, I played uh, first division female football up to 2010, which I had to let go for New Breed Africa Foundation and for my music career, which, um, which, which is on course, um, actually building it progressively. I just want to plead with the public and everyone listening to me, you, the special person who is listening to me, to join us in building this generation, this new breed, which is tenacious, which is without greed, which is properly educated, which is noble in character, well-skilled, industrious and purpose-driven, able to contribute to community development and the betterment of our world. I might want to sing a single, single song for you. Uh, one of my most trending songs uh, is let me show you maybe I do an acapella of that for you let me show you how I really love you girl let me show you how I really care let me show you how I really love you boy let me show you how I really care Day and night, you seem so discouraging, and you really feel left alone. Let me show you how I really care. La ruka rubuma o kwa fa fa na fa no gwa. Muta mo sa no gwa fa di uma mo keli no gwa. O tangi tunga fa, ma mo sa gwa kaka. 
Omo ala mjinga o tintinkana Bonu mbosu womba Gante nujomba Toka, koto riba mwa Koten, kota let me show you it's kind of God's love letter to you listening to me God is telling you to allow him give him the chance to be able to show you how much he loves you I don't know how long you've been in that situation in that dilemma I don't know what you're suffering from I don't know your worries what I know is that it really doesn't matter if you just allow God to embrace your life and show you how much he loves you because yes he really does as much as he loves you too love you so much don't forget to subscribe to my youtube which is zeta light don't forget to like my page zeta light and don't forget to check out the new Breed africa foundation handles on facebook on uh, as a website and as well on youtube to be able to see more about what we do thank you so much and god bless you I actually forgot something very, very important and I had to bring it to you again. Uh, one of the things we do to empower our orphans, less privileged, uh, young single mothers uh, is uh, empowerment programs like conferences, like banquets where uh, we have a lot of infotainment or edutainment. That's a mixture of good information and entertainment or a mixture of good education and entertainment where we are able to shape the minds of people. We are able to redefine a lot of things about life to people and help them think right in order to live right. Because one thing we believe is that uh, a right life is only led by a light life. Light being information, being quality information, being the right information. So uh, one of the things that we do or some of the projects that we run in that line are the Woman Power Banquet, which comes up every December as well. Uh, between uh, mid-December, we always come up with the Woman Power Banquet, which redefines the identity of the woman and helps her display the fullness of her uniqueness as a woman to be able to make society better for everybody. And before the Woman Power Banquet, like I said, it's a banquet. It involves both feasting and music and display of talent by women in, in different fields. And we always pick up uh, different themes uh, that we use to educate the woman and help her uh, be an example, be a model, a, a role model in society and as well help her contribute to the betterment of our world. Uh, the very first edition that we had was on redefining the dignity of the woman and the young girl. When we do this on such days, we really do not have enough time. Since it's the banquet, we usually not have, do not have enough time to, to really expatiate on the topics. But when we, uh, after every edition of the banquet, we find time in the early, months of the year to do what we call the woman power seminar which is now really a moment of education on the same topic so these are things some of the things that we do aside uh, empowering them with practical uh, skills we build them we build in them morals we build in them uh, uh, leadership skills and many other things empower their minds to be able to think right and live right, like I said. We also have our National Youth Empowerment Conference that also comes up every uh, second half of the year to be able to empower young people. Remember that our vision says that we want to raise a, be a tenacious breed of young people without greed, who are properly educated. So every project that we put in place answers the, 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 the uh, to the need of the vision. So we also do a lot of education when it comes to realizing such a vision. That's basically what I wanted to say again uh, to add up to what New Africa Foundation does. Thank you very much for your kind attention.
So we love Africa, we love nature. See, I have a touch of, you know, there's this Atogo thing we call in my country. And it's always mostly in black, but I kind of innovate. So I kind of did a green one. Hope you're liking it. <laughs> That's by the way. So all these projects she gets to do, they don't just happen by her talking. In its investment, in its input. And I know there are lots of people out there who truly want to help but they don't get to find fertile soil to sow the seeds they want to sow in. This is one of such. So I'm bringing it to you because you might be in my audience and you really truly want to help someone. Yes, this is an opportunity to be able to do that and make a change in someone's life. You can say, well, I don't have so much. You don't need to have so much. Just have it at the back of your mind that you're trusting that as you're giving this little you're giving, some other person is also giving their little. And when this comes together, it's going to be a whole, whole lot. On real inspiration, I always get to say, I love you so, so very much, but God loves you way, way more. Get to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all our updates. To those of you who are just new here, please get to click the subscribe button so you get to be a part of this amazing family. And to those of you who have been part of the family already, I say thank you. You know words really can say thank you enough, right? But I still have to say thank you anyways. Bye-bye.